And Megan Courtney. Havili will set for McClinton once again inside the back row. Uh, nice tally indeed by McClinton. 18 kills against Creighton earlier this year. Has played abroad over the last two summers. Here's Anise Havili, the preseason Big 12 freshman of the year. Lots of experience with the Team USA Junior squad that won gold over the summer. At the equivalent of the CONCACAF on the soccer pitch on the volleyball stage. They dominated with Havili in charge. The call being given here to Penn State. A 9-6 lead. And Lacey Fuller, the San Diego product, with two aces entering today's action. And a very good block. Ali Franti, very imposing right there with the All-American, Nia Grant. Nia Grant with 345 total blocks in her career. It's tough to get one past her. Ali Franti, a big-time hammer of a shot there for the excellent freshman. Continuing to pace Penn State on the season. And Penn State to work once again with Ali Franti. And wicked she has been here this evening. A very special player. Now with four kills on the evening. Between Grant and Whitney, Lee and Franti, no errors. And they've dominated. Albers, very good dig by Nia Grant. This is Ali Franti, shorts on the good block by Taylor Susie. The AVCA Midwest Region Freshman of the Year a season ago. A Kansas freshman record of 135 total blocks. It was for Taylor Susie a season ago. And led the Jayhawks at 34%. Megan Courtney, a great all-around player. And a finish for the Lions yet again in a 16-8 lead. And at the rate Penn State is playing, they and their fans can get home in time to watch the football team on the gridiron tonight in the Big Ten opener against Rutgers. And maybe in time to drive to Piscataway to even get there. All I'm told that is a very tough ticket for tonight as Rutgers is getting set for their Big Ten debut. Penn State's here with Hancock and Ali Franti. A dig. That was from Cassie Waits. A spectacular play to keep it alive by Fuller. But a big finish by Kayla Cheadle. The Missouri native. And the product of Columbia, Missouri. A lot of minutes for Chelsea Albers, who will get the breather on the sideline. And Maggie Anderson, the sophomore setter from Lincoln, Nebraska, with two aces on the season. Natalie Franti. Now, Hancock for the big swipe by Ayanna Whitney. It's Havili setting. Oh, blocking is Megan Courtney. And a great job by Megan Courtney, the excellent junior from Dayton, Ohio. 20 total blocks on the season. Entering today's games. A one point affair is Megan Courtney. Very good quickness. Nia Grant hits it out. And we are tied at 21. Kansas, a heck of a comeback. And would it be very intriguing to force a 1-1 tie on the night in which Penn State has dominated percentage-wise and Kansas is barely getting by. But they found enough offense. We said not much margin for error as they have a service miscue there. And the serve will come to Nia Grant. The excellent All-American. 38 aces last season. So a weapon for serving. And the hits will work for Kansas that time. As Madison Rigdon has certainly been quite delightful for Kansas this season. They've given her a lot of opportunities in her freshman season. 31% for Penn State. 
Just 5% for Kansas. Tied to 22 here in the second set. Franti finds a highway open and a big delivery by the number two recruits in the country. And the excellent freshman from Illinois continues to show her weaponry and a timeout for Kansas. Second set. Here is Hancock. Kansas does answer. And once again, Madison Reagan has been a bit of an answer offensively to tie it to 23. Hancock with 21 assists and three aces. Havili, the freshman, 12 assists and four digs. And we will see Maggie Anderson on service duty. Tied at 23. A wonderful comeback by the Jayhawks trying to win their eighth straight match of the season. They've held every opponent below 20% this year, which I don't think is going to be the case against Penn State, but just getting into the locker room at one will be a huge win for them. Megan Courtney over top of the block, but excellent rescue it was by Cassie Waits, the Libero, taking the place of their departed all-time Diggs leader for Kansas and Brianne Riley. And Penn State does muscle one through with Ayanna Whitney to get a set point and look for a commanding lead into the locker room. The Penn State fans once again on their feet to cheer on their Nittany Lions, as many of them in attendance as we all know and as you can see and hear. It will be Ali Franti on service here for Penn State. And Kansas has a chance here to answer and it will be Another score for Madison Rigdon. She's been quite lovely here this evening. Her sixth kill. 22%. And 24 apiece. As Kansas eliminates set point here. And quite possibly one of the biggest matches in the history of their program. And certainly in a regular season. But they're used to playing Texas year to year. Megan Courtney, an absolute hammer of a shot for the excellent junior. And once again, it will give a set point as the biggest rip of the night by the outstanding Megan Courtney. The Ohio native with her second kill this evening. She's been on defensive duty on much of the rotation we've seen. And set point here for Gonzalez, the experienced libero. And Havili, can Kansas answer again? Almost that time on the swipe by Chelsea Albers as Megan Courtney uh, got a piece there on a good strike as a very nicely played point we're seeing. And an error on uh, Penn State on the touch there. And once again, the proverbial dodge of the bullets by the Jayhawks as they get through another set point here, which has made things quite entertaining. And, boy, very, very fun to watch from our perspective here. Perched upon our broadcast veranda at the pavilion as the serve will go long. And another set point handed back to Penn State for the third time. Will it be the charm? And Megan Courtney, 21 kills combined total yesterday. A former Big Ten Freshman of the Year in 2012. Kansas, a bit of trouble receiving. Over to Courtney. Hancock here. And a finish it is for Nia Grant as the All-American will send her Nittany Lions into the break with a 2-0 lead.